Hey guys, I am Evan. And I'm Alex. And we're wasting time. Uh, we're, uh, this is our Let's Play of Fantasy Star 4. It's one of my favorite games, and we have not tried this like four previous times. <laughs> <laughs> and failed previously during to, dur due to technical incompetence. Yeah. <laughs> this, those were practice. I yeah. mean, they didn't exist. They never happened. No, what, yeah, you're right. What are you talking about? No, yeah, okay, good. Start. All right, so anyway, this is this isn't this isn't a Genesis. I mean, it is a Genesis emulator, but this is the Steam yes, this version. Is, it's not like this is the official Steam uh, Genesis Mega Pack thing. It's uh, Fantasy Star is three bucks. Uh, if you like the LP, I'd highly recommend you, you give it a try. You go and give it a try. It's a fun game. But they've got other stuff. They got the Sonic and the Dynamite Petty and whatever. Uh, Evan, you you haven't seen this intro sequence like five times, so you want to uh, <laughs> <laughs> you you want to explain to the viewers who these people are. Yeah, well, you know, I actually <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Blonde guys, you know what? That's uh, Chad, and that's uh, the girls. I don't, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> if we had done this four times previous, <laughs> you would be a terrible watcher. <laughs> yeah. Good thing they haven't. Uh, all right. These, these are our heroes. Uh, the girl is Alice. The guy is Chaz. Oh, Chaz! I was so yeah, close. you were you were actually close. I, I thought you were joking. <laughs> <laughs> You're just terrible. Okay. They're on their way to. Uh, to the Academy of Piata. And this is... They're monster hunters, are they not? They are hunters. They're hunters See, look, right. it's in quotations. Right, hunters. Of the monsters <laughs> that are attacking. Exactly. The monster, yes. They are hunters of monsters. I have been known to hunt a monster occasionally. And I, I think the... I think the opening... Uh, I think the I think the opening quotation mark might have been backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure if it was, I'm the only person who would never notice it. So, you know, as you've not, you know, told me ever before, and I am just guessing, uh -huh. this is one of your favorite games of all time, and beloved much during your childhood as well. Yes, I have never told you about this, but I adore this game on every level, and I will probably mention that ad infinitum throughout this <laughs> LP. <laughs> Okay, so so the first thing I have not mentioned every time, every time we haven't failed this, <laughs> we're gonna stop doing that right now because it's getting annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of the unique one of the thing unique things that sets Fanstar apart from similar games of the era is it normally has a party chat function. So if you stop playing the game for a while and you want to remember where you're going, or if you just miss something important in conversation, your party can talk to each other and uh, you know give get you up to speed. But uh, what I always thought was funny is that in this instance, Chaz is all by himself. So instead of talk, we've got mumble. <laughs> and uh, and he's, just, uh, <laughs> he's just mumbling. I, around I just need more chocolate. So here's the first epic quest of the game. We go to find Alice. Oh, there she is. Damn. <laughs> XP for the party. Remember when games used to be hard? <laughs> See, you say that now, but... <laughs> Also, uh, there's a lot of fun messages when Shaz uh, inspects various things. This one I didn't show you. This asshole, get out of the way. <laughs> Wait, is that, it looks like a bottle of bleach. Yeah, but it's an oddly shaped jar. Huh. And he's so freaking excited about it. Look at <laughs> well, his, <laughs> his face is kind of like, kind of, it's like a smashy dog face. It was, it was the Genesis. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Plot. Oh, yes. Look at that. For, look at that guy's freaking left eye. Look, perspective is hard. Um. <laughs> Pixels are harder. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I could, like, do this in MS Paint. Just, like, make these sprites. Uh, you mean the sprites or the manga style, like, Cut like cut it uh, comic book panels. Well, I mean the sp no the both I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I would love to see it if you could. So you're never gonna try, are you? No. <laughs> uh, 
So this is the, okay. So these, I remember this, these, uh, the like dark, the darkers or whatever. They're bio monsters. Are like... <laughs> darkers are from a terrible online series that never happened. <laughs> yes, and, and isn't connected. No, not yeah. not in any way, shape, or form. No, 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 okay. Let's go kill some... Darkers. Bio monsters. <laughs> yeah. So. Which are a long-standing part of the Fantasy Star mythos. Right. The entire mythos spanning Fantasy Star 1 to Fantasy Star 4. <laughs> so, okay, okay. Also, uh, look, there's a, uh... Another shaped junk. <laughs> Another Clorox <laughs> bleach. Look, this is this is this this world is basically Tatooine. Yeah. Bleach is amazing, and I would be impressed if I ever saw it. Okay. It, it has Johnny on Bosch in it. No. <laughs> ah no! <laughs> I hate you. Shut up. You see what I did? There? We're talking to Han. <laughs> I got him. But um. So okay. Now I I know. Wait a minute, we're about to go fight the Darkers, right? Bio monsters. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna go on a tangent here when <laughs> important things are happening. Han is talking. Yes. <laughs> Let him talk about things. He's cool. I like him. Um So you know, I never actually so. paid attention before, but this valley of life they're talking about, is that supposed to be some like mystical Location, or is that like a plot spoiler? Or no, uh, no, no. It's uh, basically Han. Uh, Han is a Han's apprentice to. I never really say he is, but he. I, you you can assume he's basically an. an he's an archaeologist because they found they were doing a dig in Birth Valley, and his expedition team disappeared. So something is wrong in the valley, and eventually we're gonna have to go and find out. You know what that thing is. Okay. Really isn't like a plot spoiler, but I mean we're gonna get, we're gonna go there in a while anyway, so I might as well just let you see for yourself. <laughs> oh yes, I like this part. This is actually a recurring thing with Han. Uh, Alice extorts money out of him, and funnily enough, the money actually goes into our inventory. So uh, yeah, Han uh, Han finances the whole first part of the journey. I always thought that was really amusing for uh, for a sixteen bit RPG. For any any RPG, really. Yeah. <laughs> and Han's just cool. Look at that. He's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so, never mind. I, we're about to go to the basement. Yeah. I'll ask questions. Showing off the artwork. And let's rework our party. Oh, no. Got to change it to macro. Fantasy Star has macros in it, so you can actually program in a set of commands for your party to follow, and they will do them. It was groundbreaking at the time. Yeah. It's kind of expected now, but... Yeah. Although no, nothing did, does it except for, like, FF12, right? Well, I mean, you, you get a lot of games that let you do this kind, this kind of macro where it's just everybody does a thing. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That boomerang's cool. Yeah, actually. Uh, I mean, I, I prefer the slicers, which functionally are the same thing, but, you know... Slicer is just a cool concept. It's a it's a bladed boomerang. <laughs> it's it's also mechanically speaking, it's also a, its own completely separate weapon type. Yeah. Even though there's only one boomerang in the entire game, and Alice is currently using it. You know, now that I think about it, how do you catch a bladed boomerang? Alice is just really, really good. I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, I guess you just have. She, <laughs> she's really good. <laughs> yeah. No, she she is Alice Bragwin, the eight stroke warrior. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. she had that nickname. That that's her nickname, and she is the greatest hunter on the planet, despite being level seven. Yeah. But uh whatever. She's still cool. So tell me you actually get a move that does like eight hits for her last like No, because I, I told you this last time, but apparently the more accurate like Japanese translation is something along the lines of rip their guts out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but yeah, I, I don't know how they come up with eight stroke. Well, I mean, it might have been that was back when, uh, you know, they were really they were really uh, they, they they censored the hell out of video games back then. So maybe they thought maybe they didn't want something that violent. I like eight strokes warrior better. Hey, plot. Oh yeah, the freaking 
principal left eye was creating the darkers in the dungeon. And this one's broken. Which implies this guy's probably from that one. First boss fights. Pretty simple. Oh, I didn't I didn't go into this um this run. But uh uh, so one of the big one of the, one of the one of the differences between Fantasy Star and similar RPGs of the era is that uh, every character has two sets of abilities. They have techs, which are functionally magic but aren't magic for plot reasons, and uh, those use TP your tech points. Shut yeah. up! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna, you were gonna say something. No, no, they changed it. It's, <laughs> it's PP, like it's PP now. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. It's photon points. So. <laughs> Really? That's the new... That's what, that's what they call them now? Yeah, I believe so. Why wouldn't they be tech points? They're still techs, aren't they? Yeah, they're techs, but like the... The techs in, um, you know, PSO are like... Actual little uh, discs, like chips or... Like computer discs, I guess, and you like insert them into your armor, presumably. Wow. Or if you're an Android, you just install it. And it lets you... You know, I guess it just manipulates energy and lets you cast this sort of thing. That's dumb. And and I, I photons have something to do with it. So it's photon <laughs> points. Like your your game is dumb, <laughs> and mine is not. Yeah. <laughs> Mo moving on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> techs are uh, techs are relatively techs are most techs are shared between multiple party members. They're pulled from a common pool, mm. whereas uh, skills are unique to each character, and uh, those can only be used a certain number of times per day. So it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's neat. I, I always thought it was neat because it adds a lot of personality to the characters, except for one who will meet relatively soon who doesn't get much of either. But, uh, <laughs> uh, we, we can lament those things as they come up. I'm, uh, I'm kind of surprised. On this run, I haven't been... I, I've I, I, The previous times we've tried this, I was swamped with random encounters, and this took Yeah, way, this is actually kind of going pretty Way good. longer. So, okay, I just saw, like, you attacked and no numbers happened. Was that just a miss? That's a miss. Okay. You uh, you might not be able to hear it, but because um, we've got the volume a little bit lower. No, I mean, I heard, like, when he slashed, it was just like a... Flick, flack. Yeah, there's like a there's like a whiffing kind of noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a really nice noise when you hit something. It's this nice like shink kind of noise. Yeah, except and it's the... Genesis, so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fantastic for a Genesis game. Yeah. <laughs> Genesis has a shitty sound chip. <laughs> but yes, when you miss, there's like that woof kind of noise. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If, uh, if you didn't catch that, Evan, I used rest to heal myself. Oh, uh, yes. Because that's what rest means. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah, I, I use rest, though. I mean, you can you can tell what all these spells do, don't you? Can't you? Yeah. <laughs> you see, Foley is fire, and shift is an attack boost. But Sanner, that one makes no sense. That I don't want. <laughs> that one's just completely out of play. Non sequitur. I don't <laughs> Yeah, the nightmare of playing this game as a kid was none of the spells are named for any for any <laughs> none of the spells have any have any remotely indicative names. So uh, you just kind of had to experiment. Uh, I know what the, I know what all the important ones do. Uh, so won't be an issue here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so plots. Oh man. I totally didn't put the Darkers in the basement. <laughs> well, he, he didn't, personally. My eye is the appropriate height. Well, on the on the big picture it is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that's right. Somebody was drunk. <laughs> it's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, he's... that that's That's a sign of, I don't know, like... Uh, distinguishment, or you, you can't be a you can't be a dean at a at a at a school unless your face is messed up. Yeah, somewhere. or he's clayface. He's slipping. <laughs> we don't we don't reference Batman in this in this LP. This is a Superman LP. Oh, okay. so so you will talk about. Um, Are there any shapeshifters in Superman? <laughs> um. None I can think of off the top of my head, so... Ah! Magic Knight Raid Zagato! 
my face. <laughs> yeah. Gato? What? No, it's a Gato from, Ma oh, that, uh, from Magic right, Knight right. Rare. Yeah. I, I heard Gato, I thought Chrono Trigger. A far inferior RPG. I'm very <laughs> tempted right now to just hum the tune. No. You you will not. <laughs> That's okay, I'm repressing it. But at one point, when you're least expecting it, it's gonna come out. <laughs> just all of a sudden. And I will hit you. <laughs> So you, you do you so do you do you remember what just happened right now, or are you paying attention? Oh no! Well, Zagato turned everyone. In... Zio, yeah. the black magician, dog. <laughs> he turned everyone in stone. Good boy. And was like, "Hey, all you crackers, <laughs> freaking get got, and then, <laughs> and then we have to go investigate." <laughs> More, more or less. <laughs> you pretty much have the gist of it, so uh, we'll we'll leave it here. And next time we go to Birth Valley, later, y'all. Late. Bo shizzle. <laughs> no. <laughs>